you probably first learned about Hiroshima from history books as one of the two cities in Japan where the Americans dropped an atomic bomb, putting a definitive end to the Second World War. Decades later, the once devastated city is back on its feet and is one of Japan's most popular destinations, visited by millions of tourists each year. Hi, we are Vince and Josh, and in this video, we'll share with you some practical tips that could hopefully help you when planning a trip to this corner of Japan for the first time. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new travel videos. How to get there Hiroshima has its own airport, but internationally, it's directly connected only to a few Asian cities, including Beijing, Shanghai, Taipei, Hong Kong, Incheon, and Singapore. Most international travelers access Hiroshima via Kansai Airport in Osaka or Fukuoka Airport. Then, they can either take the train or the bus to Hiroshima. From Fukuoka or Osaka, you have two main options, by train and by bus. If you have more time than money, we recommend taking the bus because it's significantly cheaper than the train. But if budget isn't an issue, take the Shinkansen or the bullet train, which is considerably faster. We've created more thorough guides on how to get to Hiroshima from Fukuoka or Osaka on our written blog. Visit www.theporttraveler.net or follow the links in the description. Where to stay? Hiroshima is a popular destination for tourists, so it's fairly easy to find a place suitable to your taste or budget. In Japan, we always suggest to pick a hotel that's near a train station. In this case, near Hiroshima Station, it is the city's central station and very accessible from many of the main attractions. While there are great things to do within the city center, we find that other parts of the prefecture like Onomichi and Miyajima are also worth checking out. Staying near Hiroshima Station gives you easy access to these destinations too. How to get around Within the city center, the best way to get around is on foot. Hiroshima was built from the ground up after the World War II atomic bombing, so it's more planned compared to other Japanese cities its size. Getting around is easy and many of the city's most visited sites are fairly close to each other. Just make sure you have comfortable walking shoes. If walking isn't an option, you can travel by train, by bus, or by streetcar or tram, locally called Hiroden. If you don't know how to use the train and bus systems in Japan, consult Google Maps or the very reliable Hyperdia.com, a web-based search engine for transportation schedules and routes in Japan. You'll find the Hyperdia tutorial on our blog. Follow the link in the description. If you feel like you'll be using trains a lot while in Hiroshima, you may want to avail of an IC card. It's a prepaid card that lets you pass through the gates of train stations conveniently avoiding the hassle of queuing for a ticket. Aikoka, Pasmo, and Suika all work in Hiroshima. Note that streetcars have a different payment procedure. You pay in cash or IC card after your trip before you step off the streetcar. There are automated collectors situated near the exits that will collect your payment. Places to visit here are some of the best places to visit and things to do in Hiroshima. We'll not go into the details because we'll create a separate video about these. Peace Memorial Museum and Park, dedicated to the thousands of lives lost during the atomic bombing. It's located at the heart of the city. Monuments include the A-Bomb Dome, the Children's Peace Monument, and the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Hiroshima Castle. The original Hiroshima castle was built in the late 16th century but was destroyed during the atomic bombing. The current castle is a replica built after World War II. The inside of the castle is now converted to a museum. Pandori Shopping Street, a pedestrian-only shopping arcade flanked by several stores from the usual global brands to local labels. Day Trips Aside from the attractions within the city center, you can also visit other destinations within the prefecture that are easily accessible from Hiroshima City. Here are some of them. Miyajima Island 
famous for Itsu Kushima Shrine and its Great Torii Gate, which during high tide is partially submerged, creating the effect that the gate is floating on water. Sandankyo Gorge A scenic trail skirting around the mountains of Hiroshima punctuated by waterfalls and natural pools. Grave, ang ganda dito. Medyo nakakapagod pero sobrang ganda. Onomichi, an hour away from the city, it is home to dozens of age-old temples and shrines connected by a walking trail called the Temple Walk Route. It's also popular for its cat alley. Okunoshima Island, also called Rabbit Island for its countless rabbits. Pick a trail and it will take you to key attractions including ruins of some World War II structures and the Poison Gas Museum. What to eat Hiroshima is also a foodie's paradise. They put their own twist to the quintessential Japanese dishes. Here are some of those you might want to try. Hiroshima Okonomiyaki a savory pancake made with eggs, vegetables, meat, and noodles. There are over 2,000 okonomiyaki houses peppered across the prefecture. While okonomiyaki exists in other parts of Japan, Hiroshima's version is famed for its unique mixture of ingredients. Hiroshima Oysters As one of the top producers in the country, Hiroshima takes pride in its oysters. It's not hard to run into a good oyster place anywhere in Hiroshima. You can enjoy it raw, grilled, steamed, and fried. Hiroshima Ramen Hiroshima's own take on the good old ramen comes with a spicy punch. The broth is thinner than other well-known varieties in Japan, but it combines the saltiness of shoyu and the umami of pork bone. Tourist Passes one thing I love about Japan destinations is their transportation passes, and Hiroshima is no exception. Depending on your itinerary, a tourist pass can mean a lot of savings. Here are three of the most popular. Visit Hiroshima Tourist Pass, which will grant you unlimited access to streetcars, buses, and ferries around the prefecture. Note that this doesn't cover JR trains. There are five variants available. Small area, good for Hiroshima City and Miyajima. Middle area, good for Hiroshima City and travels to Miyajima, Iwakuni, Akiyota, Higashi, Hiroshima, and more. And wide area, good for Hiroshima City and travels to Miyajima, Onomichi, Fukuyama, Fuchu, Sera, Takehara, Iwakuni, Akiyota, Higashi, Hiroshima, and more. If your itinerary includes Hiroshima and the Kansai region, including Osaka, Kyoto, Nara, Kobe, and Himeji, the pass to consider is JR Kansai Hiroshima Area Pass. It will allow you unlimited travel on selected JR trains including non-reserved Sanyo Shinkansen among others. If you plan on exploring multiple destinations with Hiroshima Prefecture and Yamaguchi and coming in via Fukuoka, consider the JR Hiroshima Yamaguchi Area Pass. For more information about these passes, you know what to do, follow the links in the description. When to visit Hiroshima is a vibrant city that entices tourists all year, but it is particularly magical during the fall and late spring. I personally prefer the October and November months, especially when hiking around Sandanke Gorge, when the mountains are clad in bright colors and the temperature is just perfect for sightseeing and trekking. In May, particularly within the Golden Week, Domestic tourism spikes and almost everyone is in the mood to travel. It's a festive time in Hiroshima because of its annual flower festival, but you must also consider the large crowds and higher than usual rates. If you're aiming for cheaper rates and less queues, better to schedule your trip in other months. That's all for now. If you need more information about traveling to and around Hiroshima or other destinations in Japan, we wrote detailed travel guides on our blog. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new travel videos. We're Vince and Josh. See you again next time and may the goals be with you.